Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to read and understand frequency tables. Now specifically, we're going to take a look at an example with qualitative data. So we're not going to be working with numbers. The data is non-numerical. You may also hear this called categorical data. Now, as far as frequency tables, they are a way for us to represent and display data in an organized and easier to understand way. Frequency tables show us the number of times something occurs in a data set. And that something can be a value, a range of values, even something that's non-numerical. So it doesn't have to be numbers. Whatever the case may be, we are looking at the frequency, the number of times something occurs. Let's jump into our example where we are going to take a look at this data right here. We're going to say that a company sent out a survey to its customers looking for some feedback. Customers were asked what type of device they preferred to use for entertainment. So whether that's watching videos, shows, movies, playing games, reading, etc. These are the results of the survey. PH stands for phone. TA stands for tablet. TV stands for TV or television, and then VG stands for video game council. Now this is the raw data. It hasn't been organized. It's just in the order that it was collected. As you can see, this is pretty difficult to interpret and understand as is. A frequency table will help us organize everything, and our table is right here to the left. So as far as this table goes, the left column shows the devices and then the right column shows the frequency, the number of times each device shows up within the data. Now, as far as reading this table, we can see that for a phone, we have 21 people that prefer that device. For a tablet, we have 14 people. For a TV, we have 17 people. And then lastly, for a video game console, we have 23 people. You can see that this frequency table really helps organize and present the data in a more meaningful way. Now let's answer some questions. Starting with number one, where we have, how many people prefer using a tablet? Well, tablet is right here, and we have 14 people. So 14 people prefer using a tablet. Let's move on to number two, where we have how many people prefer a TV or phone? So we need to look at TV and phone. So we have 17 for TV and 21 for phone. So 17 people plus 21 people gives us 38 people. So 38 people prefer a TV or a phone. And then lastly, for number three, we have how many people were surveyed. So for this one, what we need to do, we need to add all of the numbers in the frequency column. So 21 people plus 14 people plus 17 people plus 23 people. 21 plus 14 is 35. 35 plus 17 is 52. And then 52 plus 23 gives us a total of 75. So how many people were surveyed? 75 people. So there you have it. There are the basics of reading and understanding a frequency table. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.